what's happening everybody mr pop is here and advanced warfare has now released more personalization packs for your guns um you get a camo you get three radicals a calling card and an emblem um i'm gonna break down all of these um stuff for you guys so you can figure out if you want to purchase it or not um also each one of these in the advanced supply drops you can get the exosuits and all that for them but i don't have any of that um i need to like buy an advanced supply drop so but i did buy all the personalization packs as you can see here so anyway uh we have let me get back to it we have the x-ray we have the disco we have the aces and we have the jackpot so let's go break this on down First, we're gonna go to Private Mesh, and I kinda set this up already, let me make sure. Yep. Okay, let's go into this. Um, I'm gonna try to get out in the sun, show you guys what the camos look like, and all that. Um, like I said, I'm gonna break it on down, I'm gonna show you all the emblems and radicals and all that. So, don't worry, uh, we'll get to that. Once this thing gets loaded, I'll show you what the camos actually look like. this first one so this one is gonna be aces once this counts down I'll go out in the sun and I will show you guys what it will look like in the light but so far this actually looks really cool I actually would use this a lot um, this is more my speed I think it's actually really neat looking so if you come out in the sun it's a bunch of playing cards all over the um, gun I think that's really cool looking. Um, not really much to say. I think it's pretty simple, pretty simple design, but I think it's pretty effective. I think it's really cool. I like it better than some of the white camos that they have in this game. And like I said, I actually would use this one a bunch. Uh, the next one we have is the ARX with the disco on it. I don't know if I'm a big fan of this one. Um, it's too much like too much action going on if the spin was a little bit slower for the disco ball i might like it a little bit more but it's too distracting for me um i can't really get my eyes off of it so i got a feeling i would probably die a lot using this but i could see a lot of people uh using this this camo i, I can picture it so that's um those two guns i don't think i could change right here no i gotta die first so let me die and get back in here. They had to put me all the way across the map. So if we come out here, this is the x-ray. As you can see, it's actually like see-through. Um, you can actually see the chair and stuff. Um, if you could see through my gun. Um, I think that's really cool. I would definitely use this gun. I think it looks really neat. Too bad you can't really see the bullets or anything going through it, but... Um, overall, I think it's a pretty cool gun. Not too bad. Pretty cool camo for the uh, AK-12. And this camo is the casino one. I forget exactly what it's called. Off hand. Or jackpot, I believe it's called. And again, I'm not a big fan of it. It's just too much action um, going on where it's kind of distracting. So I doubt I would be using this one a lot. Maybe if I'm bored and I just want to just try something different, I guess. But... I don't know, it's, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, like I said, too much action going on. I, it's just, and it's kind of generic looking too. Like, it's nothing really too flashy about it. It's just not really my thing. So, but anyway, those are the four camos that come with the pack. So now I'm going to show you all the reticles and the calling card and the emblem and all that jazz once we get out of this. You know, the loading on this game takes a little while. So let me get out of here. It left me. Hey, Junior. Fine. Okay, and if we go to... Okay, well, it's not there, so I'll have to go the old school way. Um, first off, we will go here. And we will put on... Get rid of one of these. We will put on a red dot, and we will change this. And this is for the X-ray. So let me see. So this is the disco one right here. You get the glitter ball, the 
you get the shooting star and you get the peace sign. This one is for aces, where you get the heart, the club, and the spade. This is for jackpot, where you get the cherry, the bell, and the seven. And this is for the x-ray, where you get the geosphere, the radiograph, and the crystal. Um, I don't know if any of these would really help you guys that much. I mean, maybe the glitter ball might, and maybe, maybe like one of these small ones, like the, the bell maybe, but I can't picture like using this one. Uh, this one might be helpful because you could just look through the center, but uh, eh, kind of distracting still. Not, not my thing. Don't really care for any of the reticles. Um, if we go to the operator and if we go to player card and go to calling cards and bonuses this these are actually badass that's the disco one that one's really cool I would definitely use that um, the jackpot eh, not a big fan of it pretty generic I think they could have done a lot more with that design uh, okay the aces Again, I would definitely use that. I think that's really cool design. Very simple. Um, my type of speed of calling card. And the x-ray. That's actually really badass looking too. Um, I like the disco and I like the aces a lot more. But I could picture myself using this one. I just didn't really like the disco or the jackpot one that much. And as for emblems, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find that. Let's see. Am I gonna get lucky and be able to figure it out? And yes I will. So this is for for disco. This is the emblem that you get for the jackpot. This is the emblem that you get for aces and this is the emblem that you get for x-ray. So those are your four emblems and I believe that is it. So I showed you guys the three reticles for each one, I showed you guys the calling card, and I showed you guys all the envelopes. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope it was, helped you guys out and figure out if you want to purchase it or not purchase the camo sets. Um, I actually like them, I think they're worth, I think they were $2 a piece, and I think it's worth it, I think they were all pretty cool in their own way. Um, jackpot wasn't really my thing, so maybe I might skip on that one. But I did like all the other ones, and I would probably buy those, um, even if I wasn't making YouTube videos, I would probably purchase them. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, I hope it helped you guys out. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace.